I introduce you to CRT text. I always struggle to create stunning titles, but now it takes seconds to transform white text into a unique masterpiece. Choose texture, drag and drop, and you are done. Step up your text game today. I'm going to show you how to create those design titles today. In CRT packs are included all those beautiful textures, so pick one of them. I prepared a project, so just simply choose the texture you like and drag and drop it into the timeline. We need to cut it off. We need to also add the black frame under the text. Um, when you select the texture, you need to use blending mode multiply and I, I need to use it for both of them. And also it's a good tip to downscale it to fit your text. Next tip is to play with the color, so pick the Lumetri color and apply it to your texture. Um, I wanted to make more dark so you can play around with the shadows. If you want to make more readable, you can, you can add it. Also, the next great thing is to add LUT to change the color. I included this LUT especially for the CRT look, so if you want to make it look great, add it. So we have the text prepared and right now we want to make it transparent to, to, to see our background. So we need to nest it and apply the blending mode screen. And here we go, we have the final result within a few seconds. Two more advanced tips, if you pick channel blur and add it to your duplicated nested sequence, you can play with the blurriness, which will step up your CRT look. Also, the CRT texture applied to any details you add, so I pick the X's and put it right under the texture and also I need to scale it up the texture to apply to, to our detail. And that's it. Let's go to the example number B, uh, which is a black and white example. I prepared two te texts and I add the texture and the black frame underneath. Uh, you have to also apply on the texture the multiply blending mode and check it out. Uh, the thing I like to do is to play around with the, the shadows and make it like more connected to the texture. So pick the effect drop, and drop shadow and play around with the softness and opacity. You can copy paste my settings. I go around 12 opacity and shadows, uh, depends how I like it. Next thing is RGB curve, which lets you to adjust the brightness and contrast of the texture. So this is really where you get creative. You can play around and get the crazy results as you can see. So get creative and don't be worried. Uh, the final results are pretty amazing and you can also play with the blue curve or the red curve and get the, those like crazy creative accidents. And last tip is to add some interest to the background. For that reason I created CRT scan overlays. So I pick one of my favorites and put it uh, below of the texture and also delete the black black frame and just use tint for the black and white and you can see the final results. So if you like it, you can check it out and download it on my site, uh, which is yakub.tv. And let's make editing fun again. See you next time.